All right. So this is session number one. The chapter that we are discussing is chapter number 18, Constrained Optimization. And this is, yeah, this is question number three from 18.1. Okay. Chalo. So the question is saying find the only possible solution to the constraint optimization problem. So there should not be any T here. Theke? So I have to maximize this function. This is a function of x and y and this is subject to this particular constraint. So my function f of x comma y is 10 x raised to the power 1 by 2, y raised to the power 1 by 3. And my gx function is, gx comma y function is 2x plus 4y. And it should not be an equal. Uh, there was a mistake here. gx is equals to, okay. So gx is actually, no, it's not a mistake. gx is equal to 2x plus 4y. And that number is equals to 9, right? So your gx function is, your gx function is 2x plus y. And that is taking some value constant, which is 9. So usually the function should be in this format, right? gx comma y is equals to c. Whenever we are discussing the concepts, they are in this manner, right? Yes? Yes, ma'am. So... Yes, ma so so this so i have my fx function i have my gx function so now what am i supposed to do after this um we'll make that yeah. uh, l wala function i don't know how to pronounce it uh, lagrange function lagrange function ha ah. but uski zarurat hai kya no lagrange function Ka jo concept bhi aata, solo yeah. So Lagrange function ka jo concept hai, wo bhi kahan se aa hai? That is also coming from the logic that if you derive, if you divide what? Kis cheez ko kis se divide kare aur kis ke equal rakhe to kya hoga? Ma'am, f1 prime by f2 prime by f3 prime by f4 prime by f5 prime by f6 prime by f7 prime by f8 prime by f9 prime by f10 prime by f11 prime by f12 prime by f13 prime by f14 prime by f15 prime by f16 prime by f17 prime by f18 prime by f19 prime by f20 prime by f21 prime by f22 prime by f23 prime by f24 prime by f25 prime by f26 prime by f27 prime by f28 prime by f29 prime by f30 prime by f31 prime by f32 prime by f33 prime by f34 prime by f35 prime by f36 prime by f37 prime by f38 prime by f39 prime by f40 prime by f41 prime by f42 prime by f43 prime by f44 prime by f45 prime by f46 prime by f47 prime by f48 prime by f49 prime by f50 prime by f51 Whatever my optimal solution is going to be, I am not saying whether it's max or min. Right now, I'm not talking about that. Whatever my optimal solution is, I should have this condition getting followed, right? F prime x divided by F prime y. Yes, that should be equal to what? G prime x. Divided by g prime y. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Right? So now what is my goal? My goal is very simple now. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? And then we will try to find out the value of x and y where these this equation holds. So if we have more than, you know, one possible point, then the question of, you know, whether it will be the maximum or it will be the minimum, all of that will come. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So first of all, I will see how many points are there. If one point has happened, and they said that this problem is the only possible solution that can happen. We solution not tell the possible solution. Batana hai. There is a difference, right? If I claim that something is solution, that means I'm telling, okay, this is the value where the function is getting maximized. Possible solution meaning this is one of the potential candidate which could maximize your function. Yes? So, right now we only have to explain the possible solution. So that is why we are not concerned whether whatever that point that is going to come, whether that will maximize or minimize. I'm not concerned because I just have to tell, okay, this is the possible solution. And we said, okay, whichever, whichever point will maximize your function or minimize your function, 
they will be satisfying this condition. Yes. Right. Yes, so let's do that. So what is f prime x? I have to do partial derivative. What is partial derivative of this function with respect to x? That means y will be treated as a constant. So y को कांस्टेंट की तरीके से हम लोग ट्रीट करेंगे x को वेरिएबल की तरह से ट्रीट करेंगे तो क्या होगा यहां पे 10 एज इट इज y रेज टू द पावर 1/3 एज इट इज व्हाट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ x रेज टू द पावर 1/2 1/2 टू विल कम इन फ्रंट एंड देन x रेज टू द पावर 1/2 1 व्हिच इज -1/2 Yes. Yes, ma'am. Right. So, ये कितना हो गया? Five. Y raised to the power one by three. X raised to the power minus one by two. Ma'am, we can write that as uh, one upon x to the power one by two also, right? We can bring x yes. to the denominator. Yes. Definitely, we can. F prime y क्या होगा? Now you are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so you will treat x as constant. Yes. So, agar x ko constant ki tarike se if you will treat, what does that mean? Then 10 as it is, x raised to the power 1 by 2 as it is. Then y raised to the power 1 by 3. What is the derivative now? 1 by 3 will come in front and then y raised to the power minus 2 by 3 because 1 by 3 minus 1 is minus 2 by 3. Yes. So my function is 10 by 3, x raised to the power 1 by 2, y raised to the power minus 2 by 3. So far, so good? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So now let's focus on the function gx comma y. So my function gx comma y is 2x plus 4y. So guys, this is my function, right? And this is the value of my constraint. So the value which my constraint is taking. Yes, it is taking value 9. So this is my function. So what is g prime x? 2. And since this y will be considered constant, 4y, if you do the derivative, it will be 0. Right? Yes, ma'am. And now, what about g prime y? 4. This will be 4. Okay. So now, I will just, you know, use this equation. Ab mein is, in may values put karungi. We will put the values and then we will see what can happen, right? Okay. So, what is happening now? So, I will divide this by this and I will put it equal to 2 divided by 4, right? So, let's do that. 5, y raised to the power 1 by 3, x raised to the power minus 1 by 2, divided by 10 by 3, y raised to the power minus 2 by 3 and x raised to the power 1 by 2 and that should be equal to 2 divided by 4, right? So, Let's see what all we can do. This 1 by 2 will come downwards in the denominator. This will go upwards in the numerator. If you know the power is made positive. Yes. So this will become 5 by 10. This 3 will go up. This y will be 1 by 3. This y will be 2 by 3. This x will be 1 by 2. And this x will be 1 by 2. And this will be 2 by 4 which is 1 by 2. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, what is happening here? So, this is 2. This also get cancelled. What do I get? 3y by x equals to 1. 3y by x is equals to 1. Right? This is one of the equation that I have. So, what do I get from here? 3y should be equal to x. This is one equation. 
now i also know that whatever this equation is whatever uh, point uh, that i am going to take that should satisfy this condition as well hai na ye condition bhi satisfied honi chahiye yes so another condition which i will have to take care of will be 2x plus 4y is equals to 9 so another condition is 2x plus 4y is equals to 9 so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 can i use these two equation to figure out what is that value of x and y which is satisfying both these equations what do i get i can put the y in, in place of x i can put 3y yes so what will i get i will get 2 times 3y plus 4y is equals to 9 what does that imply that implies that this is 6 and 4 10 10y is equals to nine, and what is the value of y? Nine by ten. And what? Yes, ma'am. And what is the value of x? X is twenty-seven by ten. Twenty-seven by ten. so while solving this these equations i only got one value i only got one value so i don't know whether it is maximum or minimum but this is my only possible option right now yes so the answer to this problem would be what that the only the possible the possible solution for the problem will be what will be x value being 2.7 and y value being 0.9 this is my answer is that all right with everyone Okay, so Radhika is saying, ma'am, should we write the equation uh, in Lagrange form as well? You can if you want to, because you know, right now you know, okay, okay, because we are doing everything step by step. So even if you want to take a guess, you know, okay, this is from eighteen point one, so I haven't really understood that, so I can use that. But in in the exam, you won't have this, right? So you can use that. No issues. Okay. Yes, Ria. नाम में इस क्वेश्चन को हम काफी तरीके से कर सकते हैं तो वन वे विच बी हैव डन राइट नाउ एक लैग्रांजियन एंड सिंस हमारी कांस्टेंट लीनियर है तो हम इसमें किसी भी एक पैरामीटर को सब्स्टिट्यूट कर सकते थे तो लाइक वो हम कौन से तरीके से करें लाइक मतलब फ्रॉम एन एग्जाम परस्पेक्टिव बिकॉज़ एग्जाम परस्पेक्टिव वी डोंट नो कि कौन से एक्सरसाइज का क्वेश्चन है जनरल क्वेश्चन है हमारे लिए तो एग्जाम में हमें कौन सा अप्रोच फॉलो करना चाहिए तो एग्जाम में बिकॉज़ हमें पता है कि हमारा जो सिलेबस है दैट इज रेस्ट्रिक्टेड नाउ टू कंस्ट्रेंट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सो मोर एंड वो मोर एंड मोर वो क्या देखना चाहेंगे जो भी कॉन्सेप्ट आपने पढ़े हैं उनका यूसेज देर कुड बी मल्टीपल वेज इन विच यू कैन डू इट राइट बट वो लोग क्या देखना चाहेंगे जो कॉन्सेप्ट आप कर रहे हो लाइक लिगरानी मेथड दे वुड लाइक यू टू यूज दैट और दिस यू नो टेकिंग द टेकिंग द division and then equating them okay ma'am yeah so we will try to stick to whatever concepts we are learning because they they want to test your skills on that okay and not the okay. end objective is ki ha theek hai answer aaya ki nahi hai na theek hai chalo ye problem clear ho gaya sabko all good yes ma'am 